went away, and you hung around, and bothered me every night. And when I wouldn't go out with you, you said things that weren't very nice. My boyfriend's back, and you're gonna be in trouble. by my cousin Ernie, who was 40 pounds overweight and had hair in his ears. <laughs> uh, makes you think, doesn't it? And carrying out that theme, here I am 25 years later in the mind-numbing splendor we call Norristown, Pennsylvania, begging for attention from a restaurant full of league bowlers. <laughs> yeah. And you know, I guess the one question I'm asked most often is, Vicky, Vicky, Vicky. As you look back on this zany, madcap roller coaster of a life you've led, is there anything you change, anything you do differently, to which I invariably reply? Early. Regrets, I've had a few, but then again. To mention, I did what I had to do and saw it through without exemption. I planned each chartered course, each careful step along the byway, but more, much more than this. Attention, I did. Put the ball in the closet. <laughs> Yo, Vic. Hey, did you see Earl's new tux jacket? Yeah, it looks real practical. You can either wear it or read by it. I knew I should have put a clause in his contract about no fluorescent clothing. I did mention to you that I signed Earl for another five-year contract, didn't I? Eat your heart out. I'm writhing with envy, Nick. 
I got a whole drawer full of them in my office. You want to sign one? Just stop by any time and beg. Next plan on it. 10 a.m. the morning they discover life on Pluto. <laughs> Who's Mr. Charm over there? I don't know. Donald somebody. Just moved here from Cincinnati to manage that new world of plumbing franchise at the mall. 212 average. Italian leather bowling shoes. Carries his own monogram rosin bag. Stop, stop. My head is spinning. <laughs> I'll see you later. With my luck. Mm. Excuse me. Vicky Vi. If that's who you're looking for, if not, I'll be happy to change it. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> I lost my head. Just been so long since I've been hit on by a man who doesn't have his name embroidered across his pocket. Well, be honest, I'm, I'm not hidden on you. I just want to talk. I see. I'm Harry Simon, Vicky. You know, this is amazing. I can't believe I'm actually standing here talking to you. Imagine how I feel. Huh? Well, I've been trying to track you down for the past two months. Yeah? I don't suppose you'd have the address or phone number of the other two Buffons, would you? Well, I haven't heard from Chris since her annual wishes for a joyous holiday season, but she's not exactly what you'd call transient. What about Deborah? You know where she is? Probably sunning herself on some large rock. I think this is right about the time she usually sheds her skin. So sorry. Let me put that more tactfully. If that's who you came here to talk about, I'm afraid you've wasted your time. Now, what if it's important? Nothing's that important, Harry. Deborah, love her. Always have, always will. You, me, my place. I'll get Chris's address. The Bills' 25th home run this year. San Diego is next with 22, and Atlanta is third with 21. Dad, they're showing the booth right now. But it's all glass. We can't see you. Dad, you know what? Uh, tell Daddy where you're having dinner. Oh, yeah. We're having dinner at William's house. I don't know. William who? William Bish, honey, from Taylor's Cub Scout Troop. Yeah, they, they moved into the house on a corner last weekend. Right, the vomit-colored one. <laughs> oh, well, I met Nancy. I haven't met him yet. So, everything, everything okay? Um, Bobby, I thought you were gonna call me last night. Oh, no, 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 I, I know how busy you are. I just, I just wondered, so. Um, listen, I really do have to go. Um, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I love you. Tell Daddy bye-bye. Bye, Daddy! Bye, Daddy. Oh, honestly, Taylor, give me a break. Who can get into their jackets the fastest? Go. Ha ha. I won. It's not fair. You cheated. I did not. You did too. I did not. There's no fighting in this house. We don't fight with people we love, right? Right? Right. All right, fine, and knock it off. We're both getting to be so big. Would you mind not getting so big so fast, please? Okay. Thank you. Oh, ready? Come on. Enough popcorn, Taylor. Really? Hi, I'm Chris Henry. It's nice to finally meet you. Well, just uh, give me a call when they're through eating, and I'll, I'll come and get them. Oh. One of the bonuses of moving into my neighborhood. You get a coffee cake whether you want one or not. Oh, there's the phone. Okay, see you guys later. Thanks again. My mom says your house looks like vomit. Hello. Hi, Nancy. Uh, they're on their way. What do you mean he's just now leaving? Oh, my Next shot is Deborah at the lead mic. Uh oh, is this where she took it over from Vicky? Is that why Vicky bristled when I mentioned Deborah's name? I'm sure she didn't mean anything by it. Um, that's just her. Some people collect stamps. Vicky bristles. Harry, there is no great mystery here. A lot of girl groups broke up around that time, especially when the Beatles hit. Not voluntarily, they didn't. Not with a song that was still in the top ten when they quit. So tell me what happened. Was it a mutual decision, or did the? Uh... 
Look, Chris, I'm sorry. I don't mean to cross-examine you. I'm just trying to get to the bottom line here and find out what I'm up against. That's all. The bottom line is, we were three friends who spent an amazing, unforgettable few years together. And we loved each other. Even though you haven't seen or spoken to each other ever since. I didn't say we did it right, Harry. More coffee? No. No, thanks. I, you know, as much as I hate to do this, I really should be getting back to the hotel. I have a lot of phone calls to make. Are you talk to Bobby? Yes, I am. You'll get back to me? Huh? Think it's going to be okay with him? I think he and the boys will probably be thrilled. We'll be on the phone ordering pizza before my plane takes off. <laughs> How long are you going to be in Philadelphia? Until I get a yes out of you. And by the way, I don't want to add any pressure or anything, but just... Uh, just remember that my entire television career is riding on my promise to deliver the buffons. Thanks a lot, Chris. I had a great time. Thank you, Harry. last night? Just when you thought there were no firsts left in the dating world? Have you ever had a man compliment you on your toe cleavage? Who's Harry Simon? I am, Deborah. I apologize for stopping in like this, but if you could spare just ten minutes. Um, okay, sure, Harry. Come on. By the way, the staff meeting's been moved to two. Will you call Joseph and see if noon's okay for lunch? You got it. So... Harry, what can I do for you? Do you know that you're blushing? I'm sorry. Um, I hope this won't embarrass you. But how do you like knowing that you were my first sexual experience? Well, it's okay. You wouldn't remember. You weren't there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. When Teen Chart announced that you were going out with that drummer, I had this overwhelming desire to track the guy down and beat the hell out of him. Michael Page? Well, according to what I read, you two had found true cosmic grooviness. But the next thing I heard was that you'd broken up. I was thrilled. You were too good for that guy, Deborah. I knew it right from the beginning. So, is there more? Or did you just wake up this morning with an overwhelming compulsion to track me down and share that? No, no, no. There's more. Believe me. I've come to talk about the Buffons. So... Aren't you going to tell me what a Hollywood hotshot was doing in your office? What, do you keep my secretary on retainer? I don't have to. She likes me. She tells me everything. She also happened to toss in his social security number? in scene measurements? I'm getting to that, but I was late for the meeting. All right, I'm impressed. What was he doing in your office? He's got a network deal for a big 60s retrospective. And? And he wants to call it My Boyfriend's Back. You're kidding he needs the Buffon's permission. He needs the Buffon's. Uh, and what did you tell him? Exactly what you think I told him. I told him no. I know. For the subject, I'll stay out. Thank you. How would you like a wonderful fantasy to preoccupy yourself with this afternoon? What do you have in mind, sailor? Well... Ted and Julia just bought a house in Connecticut, and they've offered us first crack at their apartment. Us? Why us? Deborah Fick. It's spectacular. Size of your place and mine put together. I've been there. I know. You don't have to sell me on the apartment. So what do I have to say? Me? Okay. I'm clean. Great in bed. And after one cup of coffee, I'm a for the whole day. Yes, you are. And I love you. And I love what we have, and I love what we are. So do I. And you're willing to risk that just because Ted and Julia decided to move to Connecticut? I guess I just don't see it as a risk. I guess I see it as just wanting more. But why fix something that's not broken? I've got such a great setup, 11 short blocks from each other. Just close enough, just far enough away. Chris, 
Deborah said no. Now you won't have to juggle your schedule. I can always manage to change my schedule if it's important enough. <laughs> What? 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 Hmm? What, your birthday? <gasps> There was nothing I could do. I know that. Oh, you know, I should have been born during the off season. Bobby, you spend 80% of your time on the road. And your best friends are a bunch of guys I don't even know. I'm a sportscaster. That's what I do. Hon, I know you don't want me to get a straight job for half the money and be miserable. Of course not. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Um, we're both just tired. Let's, uh, let's get some sleep. Okay. I'm sorry, but in Cincinnati, we had computerized scorekeeping, and I will not rest till they have it here. I may not win any personality contests, but hey, when I believe in something, that's all that counts, because that's just the kind of guy I am. You maverick, you. Well, good night, Tom. <laughs> You'll never guess who this is. Of course I know who it is. That's uncanny. I'm finished. Anything? No. What? Nothing. My boyfriend's back, and you know that he's dead. Please tell me no one saw you bring that thing in here. Why, Deborah, what a warm, deeply moving greeting. After all these years, I'll always treasure it. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm, I'm overwhelmed. Uh. <laughs> really, you can't imagine how overwhelmed. It's just that... Could you excuse me for just one moment, please? Penny? Would you mind not telling anyone about this? No problem. <laughs> 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 Deborah McGuire was a Buffon? I don't believe it. Oh, but you can, my son. Yes, here she is. Yes. Here she is. At the peak of her nubile stardom, your very own, very glamorous senior vice president of marketing. <laughs> was that necessary? Define necessary. Let's get out of here, please. Deborah, I think I speak for all of us when I say, hey, La. Hey, La. <laughs> Deborah, for what it's worth, the last thing we wanted to do was embarrass you. It just never occurred to us that you hadn't told those people. We really were just sick about it. <laughs> so it's noon. So, he storms over to the stairs, turns around, puts his little hands on his little hips and looks us right in the eye and says, Okay, fine. Then I'm going upstairs and I am going to waste toothpaste. Toothpaste. <laughs> 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 he is so cute. Thank you. Yes, yeah. they do say the darndest things, don't they? So you decided to stop with two? I distinctly remember you had your heart set on 12. That's right. I was going to have 10 for me and two for you. What? Don't you remember? I didn't want any part of it once I found out what you had to do to get them. Go through childbirth? Have sex. Uh -oh. <laughs> you know, I really do hope that you've rethought your position. On what? Sex? I guess you could say that. <laughs> no, on having children. Oh, no, sorry. I still don't want any. No. <laughs> I think I do. Really? That's great. 
Excuse me. We have your table ready for you now, oh. please. So I take it there's a serious relationship in your life. What's that supposed to mean? Which word are you having trouble with exactly? She's just asking if you're seeing someone special. Vicky, it's a perfectly innocent question. All right. Yes. I'm seeing someone special. Well, I am delighted for you. Does he have a name? No, Deborah, he doesn't. It's one of those freak oversight. His name is Donald. Well, tell us about him. Where'd you meet him? Yeah. He came to hear me sing one night. Oh my God, you're still singing? Where, in a bar? It's not a bar. It's kind of a supper club. Packed every night, if I do say so myself. Well, what can I say? I'm only a high school graduate. I'm not qualified to sit behind a desk all day and push $20 mascara. $20 for mascara? It has four separate conditioners in it. Well, so how about this? Together again, corporate executive, the housewife, and the headliner, Miss Vicky Vine of the Buffons. Which leads me neatly, I feel, to the reason we're here. Deborah, does the name Harry Simon ring a bell? Check, please. Reason number 14. This is a very busy time of year at work for me. And reason number 15. I am all too aware every morning in the privacy of my bathroom that many moons have passed. <laughs> I don't think I want to go on national television and share that realization with millions of people. Come on, Deborah. I think the three of us look pretty damn good. For our age, we do, Chris. And I'm, I'm sure our reviews would include phrases like well-preserved and held up so nicely. And what if they do one of those montage things? Here they were then, here they are now. We'll sue. Coffee, wine, what? Anything, whatever's easy. It's not exactly softening on this issue. Just got here from watch this. Another thing. You know what I don't understand? I used to keep an alphabetized list. For the last three hours, you two have been telling me what great lives you've got going. Chris, you've obviously stumbled across marital and maternal perfection. Vicky, here you are packing them in at the hottest spot in good old Norristown, not to mention your relationship with this Donald person. I can't believe you still do that. What? Do you know that you've referred to every guy I've ever dated since I was 13 years old as this person instead of a simple Donald? No, I have. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. Have I? Yes, yes, you have. I apologize. I accept. Thank you. You're welcome. What was I talking about? Oh, um, I think you were about to ask us uh, why this is so important to us if our lives are so full. Oh, right. <clears throat> so? Um, so how about because it would be fun? How about the money? How about because I happen to be very proud of the fact that we once had the number one hit in the country. How about the first class all expense paid trip to L.A.? How about the chance to be together again and really relive some old times? What did you do? Rehearse this on the plane? Yes. Nice try. Try this. How about you owe us one? What? Pop quiz, Deborah. Which bouffant, after one measly hit song, simply packed up her lead mic and walked away without so much as a sorry, guys? Vicky, let's, let's... The same bouffant who thought it might be a little classier to go out on top. Oh. The same bouffant who got a little tired of being accused of stealing the lead mic from its rightful owner. The same bouffant who wanted to get on with her life, instead of singing the same old song year after year, beating a dead horse. Is that what Chris and I became to you, dead horses? Is that what Michael Page became? Look, I think we're really Whoa, getting off wait, the wait, subject no, wait, wait, wait. No. Since when did you become a champion of Michael Page? You hated Michael Page. You see, Deborah, that just goes to show how... Excuse me, can, can we just cut through all of this? We're talking about two weeks. Two short little weeks. Now, is that so much to ask? <sighs> Look at us, sitting here together again after all these years. I mean, doesn't this bring back some terrific memories? Have I ever mentioned that five minutes with you always makes me want to run out and feed a deer by hand? Come on, it'll be fun. We'll go out 
go big bye bye oh. on a plane and we'll we'll shop and we'll get tans and we'll make a lot of money. We'll get to see where Dick Clark lives and maybe even a net for Nicello. Don't touch my cheek, you know. I've always hated that. <laughs> 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 You had a really good pillow fight. Honestly? Three nights ago. Sorry. I gotta go. <laughs> oh, Chris, look. This must be that Joseph person she was telling us about. Very cute. Who'd you steal him from? I'm begging you, stop doing that. Deborah, he's adorable. Yes, he is. Uh-oh. Did I just hear a lack of enthusiasm? Hmm? Hmm? Oh. What's this? I don't see even one of his shirts hanging in that closet. I get it. These pictures came with the frames, didn't they? Joseph and I are sort of a crossroads right now. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. What is it? Well, there's this great apartment that... He wants the two of us to move into together, and after two years, that's not exactly an unreasonable request. It's just that I have this terrible feeling that if we live together... But if I keep putting him off, you know? You know what it sounds like you need? What? Time to think. Of course I need time to think, Vicky. Who has time to think? We can buy you two weeks. How about that? Come on, Deborah. You're being called upon to make a decision that will affect the rest of your life. You're in the kind of situation that cries out for the kind of perspective that only something like, oh, I don't know, a trip to L.A. could provide. Oh, you are absolutely right. Deborah. you owe it to Joseph, not to mention yourself, to just get away for a while. What do you think? I think you two are the most relentless, transparently opportunistic people I have ever met in my life. Of course we are. So what's your point? Two weeks, huh? Mm -hmm. Ah, what the hell? Oh! <laughs> Stop that. Right. little people who made it all possible. Oh, of course I am. What was your name again? <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, I thought you wanted me to do this. Good. Thanks. I, I know the timing is not the best in the world for us, but you wouldn't believe how important this is to Chris and Vicky. Ted, well, just tell him that your significant other had to fly to the coast to become a star. You know, if you can hold out fine, and if not... Um, I'll call you when I can. You okay? You sure? Your voice sounds funny. I love you. Okay. You knock them dead out there, honey. Oh, and if you run into Vanna White, you tell her your daddy thinks she's got the cutest little fanny on TV. <laughs> I'm sure Vanna cares what you think about her fanny art. <laughs> now, sweetheart, you do the very best that you can, and if things don't work out, just be sure it isn't your fault. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> we gotta go. Bye, 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 I love you, love you, love you. See you in two bye, weeks. Mom. Be good. Oh, you'll be fine. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. Well, so... This is quite a switch. You seeing me off to an airport. You don't have to look so happy about it. Well, I'm excited for you, okay? Relax. Kidding, I was kidding. So I'll see you in, in two weeks in LA, right? I hope so, I'm gonna do my damnedest. I love you, Bobby. I know you do, I love you too. Bye. Okay. Listen, Gary, I'll stop by the hotel in a couple hours. Make sure you got everything you need. 
you know, this is going to be a great special. I'm really happy you can be with us on this. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, Larry. Right. Oh, there they are. Hi. Ooh, good to see you. Oh, Harry, Harry. Yeah. Uh, was that Harry Puppet? Yes, it was. That would be $5, please. Can you break 100 Yeah. God, you annoy me. <laughs> I'm dying to know what made you change your mind. Me too, Harry. Listen, if you're not too tired after your interview tonight, how about dinner? We'd love to. <laughs> Reality check, what you just said. Time, this is the best we could do. Don't worry about it, Harry. We worked this out 25 years ago, really. Good, I hope so. Whoa, oh, oh, this is really nice. Wow. Ah. Oh, it's fabulous. Wow, this is really pretty, Harry. Well, anyway, if you don't need anything else, I think I'll take off. I'll let you ladies get settled. I'll see you later. I'll exist for no other purpose. <laughs> see you at the interview. Bye. Bye. Deborah, I forgot to say, break a leg, love Joseph. Mm -hmm. Oh, relax and enjoy. We're proud of you. All our love, Bobby Taylor, Adam, Mom, and Dad. So and during your stay, don't forget to visit our new after-hour sushi bar. The management. Donald and I have these little pet names for each other. He calls me Love Bunny, and I call him the management. Well, um, we better get ready or we're not going to be dressed in time. Oh, no, she's starting already. Yes, yes Mom. Mom. Oh, who's going to bunkle on? Coin. Okay. Call it. Tails. Yes, thank you. Um, I'll take that way. Thank you. Oh, yes, here you are. Thank you. over to the foot of the stairs and turned around and put his little hands on his little hips, looked us right in the eye and said, so, fine, I'm going upstairs and I'm going to waste toothpaste. <laughs> Bless his heart. You know, you wouldn't remember this, but I did an interview with the three of you for my high school paper. I mean, longer ago than I think any of us would care to admit, when the Pafonts played Des Moines. I remember playing Des Moines. I do. It was May 1962. I, I kept scrapbooks. I, I even brought some. 
Say, there's good news. <laughs> what can we say? She also sends mimeographed Christmas letters. In fact, that was pre my boyfriend's back. We were still singing uh, The Way Would Win and doing our big salute to Teresa Brewer. And of course, closing with the Moments, Moments to, to remember. remember. Why, of course. Oh, well. See, we were chosen from the girls' glee club to sing Moments to Remember at our eighth grade graduation. That, that's how we were discovered. One of our classmates' father was a record producer. And so, well, that song has always meant a lot to us. For old times' sakes, how about doing a few bars? Right now. Well, oh, Come it's on. been quite a... Well, okay, well, let me give it a try. Uh, hmm... That New Year's Eve, we did the town. The day they tore the goalposts in the moments to remember. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Uh, back to that uh, interview I was talking about. I was too shy to ask this question back then, but since those days are gone. Oh, if this is about me and Bobby Rydell, it's all true. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. When Deborah clearly emerged as the sex symbol, or shall we say the superstar of the group, did it create any friction among the three of you, or, or was your friendship strong enough to overcome that? No, there was, there was no friction. In fact, Vicky and I were just thrilled for her, really thrilled. For us, um, the friendship always came first. Senior Vice President of Marketing in a multi-million dollar corporation. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think they're kind of a kick. How would you like kind of a kick? Well, how are you girls doing in here? Oh, is this adorable or is this adorable? You just look like three little dolls standing here. Three of the cutest little dolls. <gasps> could you just die? I mean, really, could you just die? Yes, we could. In fact, if death is an option, we'll take it. Are we having a problem here? Surely you weren't told to do this. No, no, no. I stayed up all night making mini dresses because there was nothing on TV. Of course I was told to do this. I was told to create something that's evocative of the 60s. These are evocative of the 60s. You know something, guys? This really is beautiful work. I have never felt so ridiculous in my life, and I'm not wearing this. Either am I. Do you think you can just ride in here on your high horses and order me to start over? We're not asking you to start over. What if we bought our own dresses? How about that? Frankly, with these attitudes, you can prance out on stage in dish rags for all I care. Yeah? Yes, as long as they match. Why? Why, 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 why do they have to match? Well, right here in bold print, under bouffants, did you or did you not wear matching dresses? Yes, we all did. We, did. we, did. we, did. we yes. also okay. wore ten foot tall hair and training bras. Oh, thank you, thank you for reminding me. <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> Lady. Oh no. 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 Are you trying to get me fired? No, 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 please, please, no, no, please, please, don't cry. Um, we'll wear matching dresses, won't we? You're very kind. It's okay. It'll be all right. We'll, we'll, we'll wear matching dresses. Thank you. I like these dresses. Bitches. Oh, there you are. You are not taking one step out of this room until I get an autograph from my sister in Ypsilanti. I cannot tell you when I told her that I, I was making a dress for none other than Miss Mary Wells. <laughs> I thought she was going to have an absolute conniption. <laughs> well, sure, I don't mind. But the stress. What about it? Hey, he knows that you've been trying. Hey, he knows that you've been lying. Certainly 
has been 25 years, hasn't it? <laughs> Smoking for most of them probably didn't help. No, no, I'm, I'm sure that... Uh... Daddy, uh, thinking. Look, I know everything's gonna be okay uh, once she loosens up. Is that something we can look forward to in this lifetime? Well, what do you want? It's been two days. Okay, let's take five, all right? <clears throat> Harry, can I talk to you? I'm sorry, you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm so humiliated. I apologize. It's not your fault. Don't apologize. Besides, I don't think it sounded that bad. Oh, Chris, please, let's at least be honest. Let's do. The way we're sounding, I wouldn't hire us to sing at the opening of an envelope. Question is, what are they going to do about it? Here they come. OK. Eddie's got an idea. Look, I hate to do this, but we're running out of time until taping, and our backs are pretty much to the wall. So, Vicky, how would you feel about singing lead again? Are you serious? Harry said you did it before, right? And you're still singing. Your voice is strong. Deborah, would that be a problem for you? Uh, excuse me, Harry, but didn't you build this whole special around my boyfriend's back by the bouffants? And that's what we're delivering. I was up front on that song. I know that, but I mean, with all due respect, what difference will it really make? I mean, who's going to remember? Can you name a Shirelle? So. Are you okay with this? I'm great with this, trust me. Chris? Oh, uh, well, sure, whatever works. But we've still got almost two weeks. I'm sorry, Deborah. I really am. Okay, let's get back to work. It a little hard to understand why I agreed to sit on that pig. Deborah, you have got to come and see me sitting on this pig. Not right now. I'm in the middle of something. Hello, Buffon Suite. Why, Harry, I'm shocked. Is this an obscene phone call? And let me just add it better be. Oh, good. Well, uh, let me slip into the bedroom. The children are here. It's Harry. For me, excuse me, won't you? Wow, Harry and Vicky, huh? Gee, I would have bet my last dollar he was after you. He was probably swept away by her subtlety. Can't you just let her have this? Of course I can. She's welcome to it. Good. Glad to hear it. I'm beat. I'm gonna head on off to bed. Unless you want to talk. Same old Deborah. Correction. The old Deborah could sing. Deborah, we're going to be fine, really. Do you know how much this means to Vicky? What I know is that when I opened my mouth this afternoon, this so called superstar sounded like a cat in heat. I am not a 17 year old bouffant anymore. I am a grown woman who's made a life for herself that has nothing to do with any of this. I am terrified, and I don't need this. And I wish to God that you and Vicky had just left me the hell alone. Chris? Um, believe it or not, I don't really feel like talking right now either. I'm sorry this is all so embarrassing for you. Good night. Nick, Nick, will you get a grip, please? For the hundredth time, of course, I knew it was you. I was just... 
I was just playing a joke on someone. And don't uh, no, I haven't seen Earl's Bobby Goldsboro songbook. Well, tell him to check his locker again. I gotta go. Well, I've seen Smitten in my life, but this poor man is gaga over me. Where's Chris? She went to bed. Uh, look, Deborah, I know you had a pretty disappointing day. What is that, one in a row for you now? Do you want to take it out on someone? You aim it at me, okay? Not at her. She was tired, Mickey, that's all. Would it have just killed you to look at those scrapbooks? Was that just so much to ask? Possibly be going better, Brandon. No, 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 no. You're the head of the network. If anything were wrong, aren't you the first person I tell? <laughs> right, buddy. Yeah. No, listen, thanks for calling. Hey, take care. <laughs> this is a nightmare. She's either not home or not answering. Her secretary hasn't heard from her. And here is the most comprehensive list of unavailable 60s groups you could ever hope to see. In some cases, unavailable means dead. Forget about it. I was just grasping at straws. The big guy wants the bouffants. I said I had the bouffants. What do I say now? Oops. Well, Harry, you're just gonna have to tell it. No. Not for another 48 hours. What, what's gonna happen in 48 hours? I don't know. A miracle? Brainstorm? Frankly, right now suicide doesn't sound so bad. Yeah, well, from the looks on their faces when we put them on the plane, I'd say, Vicky and Chris would be happy to join you. Well, off to leave message number five on Deborah's machine. Hey, Nick. Hey, Vic. Uh, Welcome back. Uh, you, you got a minute? Sure. <laughs> Sit down. What time do you get in? I don't know, sometime this afternoon. Um, Earl did okay filling in for me. Well, his drum machine kind of got away from him last night. Oh. I heard he whipped through Misty in under 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> but you know this crowd. I doubt if anybody noticed. So, what can I do you for? Well... You know that five-year contract that you and I keep kidding around about? Yeah. Well, I'm done kidding around about it. I'll sign it. Right. Ah, oh, come on, Vic, for what? You were right. You and I don't need a piece of paper. And you said so yourself. Why tie yourself up with a bowling alley for the next five years? What happens something better comes along? It won't. How can you say that? You came this close to being on national TV. You want to tell me what happened? Nothing happened, believe me. So, about that contract, let's do it, okay? Sorry, Vic. What do you mean, sorry, Vic? You've been bugging me for months. Ah, oh, come on. You of all people should know a joke when you hear one. Nick, you said stop by your office and beg. So, okay, you got it. I'm begging. Please, Nick. Come on, Vic. You're just feeling sorry for yourself. That's all. Go home. Get a rest. You'll be up to your old mouthy self in no time. But, Nick... Forget it. No contract. And you just keep on giving my customers a hard time, and I'll keep on underpaying you, and you and I will keep on keeping on. Now, that's what I'm comfortable with. Take it or leave it. Would you do me one favor? If I can. Change the sign out front so it just says Vicky Vine. Take out of the bouffants? 
Do you mind? Oh, yeah, I do. Why? It's just me up there every night, Nick, not the three of us. Besides, there's no such thing as the Bouffants anymore. There is a Vicky Vine. I know. There are two of them in the Norristown phone book Would alone. Would you think about it, please? I already did. What is it with you tonight? Yeah? Donald, can it wait? I'm here to pick up Vicky. In your dreams. Sorry. My mistake. I'll bet Deborah's just as beautiful as ever. Isn't she? Oh, yes. And the way she held herself, I mean, that carriage of hers. <laughs> you know, I remember the first time when you brought her and Vicky home from school. You girls were all of what? 11. 11 years old. But the minute I saw her, I said to Art, Art, look at the way that girl holds herself. Didn't I say that, Art? Remember when I said that? Yeah, you probably did. I probably wasn't listening. Of course, her complexion didn't do her any harm either. <laughs> Well, my poor little baby had to practically go to school with a bag over her head once a month. <laughs> Remember that, sweetheart? When I used to say, why don't you put a bag over your head once a month? <laughs> and the lower lip would come out, and you didn't have too much of a sense of humor when it came to teasing. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> now, Vicky, there was a sense of humor. I'll bet she hasn't lost an ounce of that energy, that wonderful spirit. How she would light up a room when she came into it. Lord knows where she got it from. Certainly wasn't her mother. You know, I always thought she drank. Did she drink? I, I don't know, Mom. Yeah, I think she drank. Well. But Vicky seemed to overcome it all. You know, I have never admired a girl more than I've admired that Vicky, and that's the truth. You know, I don't think we're gonna live long enough till we get our dessert. <laughs> all right, will you look for our waiter, dear? Have I made an unusual request? No, not dead. You're a regular comedian, aren't you? Listen, if Chris goes back to Hollywood, you should go with her. You could have your own TV show. Well, sounds good to me. What do you think, Bobby? Think I should pack it all up and move out to Hollywood? I don't think there's a jury in the land that would blame you. <laughs> <laughs> the dizzying heights of superstardom and back home in time again for the prom to which I was escorted by my cousin Ernie. Excuse me. I said, excuse me. All right, that's it. Shut up! What the hell is wrong with you people? Were you raised by wolves? I'm telling you about my life here. Are you getting this? I went to the damn prom with my cousin. You think about it. You think about how the best time of my life ended when I was 17 years old. And how when the Buffons broke up, all my mother had to say was, you see, Vicky, I told you never to aim too high. You'll get disappointed every time. Which leads me neatly, come to think of it, into... Baby cried the day the circus came to town Cause she didn't want parades just passing by her so she painted on a smile and took up with some clown While she danced without a net upon the wire I know a lot about her cause you see Baby is an awful lot like me Don't cry All right. 
You excused? such a good idea. No, huh? Well then, Bobby, tell me what is, because right now I'm feeling a little lost. Hey, let's keep this in perspective. Disappointed, I can understand, but lost? I, I just really wanted so much for this to work. I, I tried so hard. I'm sure you did. You always do. That sounds more like an accusation than a compliment. I, I just don't understand why I always feel like I give them a lot more than I ever get back. But I bet you didn't tell them that. You let them just walk all over you. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm sorry, but what is wrong with putting your foot down and saying, look, I am not going to take this anymore? You really think you'd like that? Me? How did I get into this? You mean you think that I do that? No, that's, that's not what I meant. Well, what did you mean? How are people supposed to know what you want if you won't tell them? Honey. Honey, what are you so afraid of? I don't know. I... I guess I'm afraid you'd all leave. Please, just listen to me for a second. I swear okay, this will okay. work. Okay, pretend this is our new apartment. Uh, fireplace, French doors, bay window with breathtaking skyline view, right? Got it. Okay, we put your bedroom furniture in the master suite, mine in the guest bedroom, my living room furniture, your two wing back chairs in Ted and Julie's living room. Our living room. Fine by me? I'll prove it to you. But first, just bring your face over here for a second, will you? Oh! I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Mm, furthermore, I love you, now put me down, you can't. I know you're probably a little skeptical about this supposed total change of mind about our living together. Oh! You got it, you got it. This is probably the most impulsive thing I've ever done in my life. Hey, you need some help with that, Mac? No, but you know what I do need? Tea. Oh, God, I'm predictable. You're going to get bored with me. Not as long as you keep on making more money than I do. Oh, <laughs> Order's on, and you have 12 messages on your machine. Make that an even 13. Wait. Hello, you've reached 54583. Five, I suppose you think I should answer that. Well, I'm, I'm a big girl now, Joseph. I can decide whether to answer my own phone or not. And I assure you right now, I have no intention of it. I mean, I, it can't be the office because no one even knows I'm back, which leaves no one but a small handful of people who are undoubtedly eager to heap as much guilt on me as possible. Well, uh, okay, so uh, we put your two wing back chairs here, and uh, it's all going to look... Um, like absolute crap. Okay, never mind. Doesn't matter. I got closets to measure. We'll deal with this later. What are they calling me for anyway? What do they want me to say? I'm sorry, girls. I I'm sorry that I, I had to be the grown-up once again. I'm sorry that I happen to be the only one that can ever see that we're about to humiliate ourselves. I'm sorry that I, that I disappointed you and I, I let you down and. 
I hurt you. Would it interest you to know that I have 74 inches worth of silk blouses? I mean, that can't be normal. I know that each of you probably has something you'd like to say to me. And whatever it is, I have it coming. But first, I'd like to repeat what I said on the phone. I was wrong. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. You have my word. OK, Harry? Well, I think I pretty well covered it on the phone call. In fact, I'm still a little hoarse from it. Did I use the word unprofessional? About lawsuit? And I assume that it goes without saying that if this special were called anything but my boyfriend's back, I'd be here right now with your replacements. You know, I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy what you put us through in the past 36 hours. Well, I can't undo that, Harry, but I'll do everything I can to make up for it. Damn right you will. Okay. That's all I have to say. Except, let's get back to work. Fair enough. Chris? My five-year-old thinks I shouldn't play with you anymore because you made me cry. Tough point to argue. Vicki? So many possibilities leap to mind. None of which are beneath me. I can't stress this enough. My only difficulty is narrowing it down to one. All right, in that case, how about this? Nope. Not even close. Well, so, let's just get to work. Okay, here are your revised personal appearance and rehearsal schedules. You ask about a vocal coach. His name and number are at the bottom of the page. He's expecting your call. Oh, thank you. A vocal coach? You want to be backed up by Chris and the cat in heat? Wouldn't be the first time. Vicki, sorry. Why, Deborah? That's very conscientious of you. Chris? Yes. You're underpaid. Huh, Harry. Tell me about it. And just to show you that my heart is in the right place, I have a surprise for you. So do I. So do I. What do you think? Oh, now, that's cute. That's, but this you isn't you cute. Around. No, but but like I mean, shake and glitter. My boyfriend's back and you're gonna be in trouble. Hey, la, hey, la, my boyfriend's when back. When you see him coming, better cut out on the double. Hey, la, cut, hey, cut, oh, cut, cut. Vicky, honey, um, I think you're a little flat. Not really, Eddie. It's just this bra. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 ah. A, 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 E. Tonight you're mine completely. You give me your love so sweet. Is it? 
this thing near the bank. No. In fact, I'm, I'm glad to hear it. And I'm glad to hear that you're glad to hear it. No wonder I couldn't get anywhere with her, and I thought it was me. You know, I handle rejection much better when there's at least some semblance of an excuse involved. I see. Well, goodbye, Harry, and be sure to have a real nice life, won't you? Vicky, wait a minute. Vicky, will you wait a second? What? What? what was that all about? What did I say? You have to be hit over the head with a bat. Is that it? I was kind of hoping maybe you and I could get something going here. You didn't exactly go out of your way to discourage me, did you? I didn't exactly go out of my way to encourage you either, now did I? But Vic... Look, I'm sorry. I didn't know I was supposed to take any of that stuff seriously. Well, okay. Now you know. Deborah's not interested. I am. So? So? Uh, look, Vicky, I, I like you very much. I think you're terrific. And, just... and in their own way, the feelings you have for me are just as deep as the ones you have for Deborah. They're just different. Oh, yes. And you hope we can always be friends. Well, yeah. Don't. Try to let me down easy, Harry. It's been done to death. He say, baby, I'm yours. And I'll be yours until the stars fall from us. Senior Vice President, huh? What, are you kidding me? 
You passed not bad two days ago. You sound great. So great, in fact, we want to talk to you about something before Vicky gets here. What is it? Well, we're really not sure how to handle this, but uh, let's face it. Now that you're in full voice again, she's just not the singer you are. And? And we want you back up front where you belong. She is not going to do this to me twice and when my time, Chris, the answer is no. no. I sing lead or I don't sing. Oh, Vicky, you don't mean that. You can't walk out. Why not? Huh? It worked for her. Thanks a lot, you guys. I thought you were going to pick me up at the rehearsal studio. I ended up waiting an hour for a cab. Oh, my God. What a nightmare it must have been for you. How can I begin to tell you how sorry I am? Has she been this much fun all afternoon? Hello. Hi, Bobby. What is your problem? What do you mean you might not make it tomorrow night? Great. Excuse me a minute. What is my problem? Yes. You want to know what my problem is? I do. Fine. Right. Well, can't For your information, Chris and I did stop by the rehearsal room. Well, then what? In fact, we were right outside when you and Harry and Eddie had your little chat. Well, then, how much did you hear? Enough. Good. Bobby. Good. Bobby, just listen. Bobby, I can't... Then you go to hell, Deborah. I'm leaving. Bobby, can we talk about this later? Something's leaving. happened. What the hell are you talking about? You're not going anywhere. I'll call you back. Please, guys. Let go of me. What the hell is wrong with you? I don't know when. When I can. But nothing, Bobby. You take that butt and book it on a plane to L.A. because that's where you're going to be tomorrow night watching your wife sing. All right. Both of you, I have had it. I am sick of the fighting. I am sick of you acting as if singing back up for the Buffons is the worst thing that ever happened to a person. That's where I sing, remember? And when you say that you would rather walk out than sing with me there, it's an insult. And I am not going to put up with it anymore, okay? Now, this will all be over tomorrow night. What we need is a lead singer. Who's it going to be? Vicky. Deborah. I told you. We heard you in there. Did they or did they not tell you they want you back up front? Yes, they did. So? So I said no. You what? I said no, Vicky. But why would you do that? You know, we were friends once. Before all this resentment got in the way. I don't even understand everything that caused it. But I want it to end. I'm sure you do. Just not that easy for me. My God, you're the bravest person I've ever known. I mean, look at you. You're still at it. You're singing every night in a supper club, standing up there, singing your heart out. It's a bowling alley, Deborah. What? I sing in a damn bowling alley. Nick's Bolandine. That's a consolation prize when you lose the lead, Mike. The Buffons, Michael Page. Wait a minute, Michael Page. Wait a second, what is this? Why not, why not? You wanna make a complete fool of yourself sometime? Stretch yourself across the back seat of some guy's car and offer yourself to him while he sits in the front seat talking about how he wishes he could get up the nerve to ask out one of your best friends. I didn't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Me too. What? A bowling alley, huh? Yeah. I bet you show him a great kidding. They love me there. <sighs> Did you feelings? <laughs> oh, that's my case. You can do feelings in a bowling alley. There's no stopping you. I happen to like that song. <sighs> Just for the record, and feel free to lie if you have to. How was Michael Page? Pitiful. <laughs> he didn't even kiss right. He tightened his lips. You know how some guys do that? Do you know who else used to do that? Rodney Patterson. 
You kissed Rodney Patterson? Yes, oh. he was my first, I'll have you know. What was it that first attracted you to him, Chris? The adhesive tape on his glasses or his pocket protector? Give me a break. We were in the seventh grade. Doesn't matter. It goes on your permanent record. <laughs> what happened to us? Where did you go? Do you know how many letters I wrote to you in the last 25 years that you never even bothered to answer? Oh, you know me, Chris. I don't write to anybody. Vicki, I've been a good friend to you all my life. I'm not just anybody. We went our separate ways, Chris. It didn't seem like we had that much in common. Hmm. It's just that I missed you both so much. <sighs> Though summer turns to winter. Fine, now she sings. <laughs> and the present disappears. Dipper face it, that is nauseating. The laughter we were glad to share. Will echo through the years. Sorry, just out of the question. Though, Though other nights and other days may find us gone our separate ways, we will have these moments to remember. <laughs> Get out of my mind. My career is way out of mind. I'm getting older. You're much too young. With all the charm of a woman, you kept the secret. Break a leg, girls. Okay. Um, Carrie, could I talk to you for a second? Sure. And what was that for? That's just my way of saying that someday when you look back on that little conversation we had, I hope you kick yourself. I'm sure I will. So am I. Barbara, this is Sean, this is Shannon, and this is my son Jason. 
Kid, the Bouffants. <laughs> showed up in Ted's office this morning with a deposit check from some woman named Deborah McGuire. You're kidding. Please welcome Miss Mary Wells! nothing you can say could change I'm watching. Knock him dead. Okay.
and bothered me every night. And when I wouldn't go out with you, you said things that weren't very nice. My boyfriend's back.